Desiree here and welcome back to Danzig Fitness. So for those of you who don't know, because of our current situation, I am teaching live online classes hosted by the Joffrey Ballet School, which is one of the schools that I teach at here in New York City. Every Saturday, I teach a stretch and strengthen class from 2 to 3.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I know some of my amazing fans from all around the world reached out to me saying they wish they could take my class, but because of the time difference, they're sleeping when I am teaching. So I wanted to record for you a portion of the class that I will be doing. Um, it's an hour and 15 minutes, so basically the first hour is a traditional Pilates class that I would give, and then the last 15 minutes I wanted to include a little hit cardio section. So that is what I'm going to be sharing with you. I have five amazing exercises and we'll be doing each of those exercises for 45 seconds and then we'll have a 15 second rest in between each exercise. Then we're going to take that whole circuit and repeat it a second time for a total 10 minute workout, okay? So uh, let's go over each exercise and of course I will show you any modifications along the way and then we'll do it together with music. All right, here we go. All right, so for exercise number one, we're going to get into a high plank pose. So the hands are under the shoulders. We're gonna tuck those toes under, and here is our beautiful high plank. Now, here's a reminder. This is not a plank. This is also ooh, not a plank, right? We have to really pull that belly button in and up Get that booty down, legs are strong, arms are strong, everything is working here. And all we're gonna do is tap our shoulders with our opposite hand, okay? Now, the goal is to shift as little as humanly possible, okay? So we have to really activate that core so we're not really rocking too much, okay? Now here are some modifications. I know a lot of people experience wrist discomfort when their palms are on the floor. So if you're one of those people, it's such an easy fix. All you have to do is make a fist, that way your wrist is nice and straight, and you do the same thing, and you could just keep your fist and sort of tap your fist to your shoulder, okay? Now, if you wanna modify it even more, you can put your knees and shins on your mat so you're in a modified push-up position and you can do the same thing, trying to shift as little as possible. Here's the same thing with the fists. So the wrist is nice and straight, okay? So you guys have a few options for that one. Exercise number two, we're going to go into a forearm plank. Now you can either lace up your fingers like this, or you can place your palms on the floor. They're both right, so you decide whichever one is more comfortable for you. And all we're gonna do is take little tiny steps in, and we're going to pike up, and then we hamstring curl, hamstring curl, and then walk the feet back down to your forearm plank, okay? So, no real modification for that one. I think everyone should be okay because we're in that beautiful forearm plank. If it's too much to do those hamstring curls, then you can just take them out and just tiptoe the feet in, pike up, and then tiptoe the feet back down, okay? Exercise number three, we're going to do a side plank. So, Again, palm on the floor. If that hurts your wrist, you're gonna make your fist. We're gonna start in a beautiful side plank and we're just gonna hold it here. One, two, three, four. Bend the bottom knee 
and then the top leg stays in the parallel position and pulses one, two, three, four. We lower the foot back down, back to your side plank, hold one, two, three, four, bend, pulse, one, two, three, four, okay? So a modification for that one is to go down onto your forearm and you can even bend your knees if you'd like. So here is your modified side plank. One, two, three, four. Extend the top leg. Pulse. One, two, three, four. You can hold it here. You can go here. One, two, three, four. Bend. One, two, three, four. Okay? So you have a lot of options for exercise number three. Exercise number four is the exact same thing, but just on the other side because we have to even everything out. And then exercise number five, we're actually going to flip over and we're going to start into a forearm reverse tabletop position, okay? So we really wanna activate those glutes, pick the hips up nice and high, and then from here, you can either sort of jump it, we're gonna tap the heels out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, yeah? And then you lower the hips down, and then we're going to make a beautiful teaser pose, okay? So here are some modifications. If you don't want to jump, all you're going to do is just take it out. Heel, in, two, in. So the hips stay up nice and high, you're gonna tap the heels out, try not to jam them into the floor, right? So you're really placing them down gently, whether you're doing the jump or not. Then you lower your pelvis back down. From here, you can actually keep your forearms on the floor. You can keep the knees bent if you want. If you're feeling good, see if you can release the floor. If you're feeling really strong and really flexible, then you can stretch the legs out all the way, okay? So again, you have a lot of modifications for each exercise, so you do you, do whatever is best for you, okay guys? So I think we should go for it, what do you think? Let's go for it, all right? We're going to do each exercise for 45 seconds, 15 second rest in between, and then we repeat the whole circuit a second time, all right? Let me get my timer set, and let's go for it. All right, guys. So we start in that high plank position, palms on the floor or make your fists, and we're gonna go into those shoulder taps. My dog's barking, I'm sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Ready, guys? All right, we're off. Try to rock as little as possible. Booty down, core engaged. You set your own tempo and try to be consistent with your pace. Make sure you're breathing. Keep it going.
for our side plank. So again, palm on the floor, fist on the floor, or you can go on your forearm. And we hold it. Breathe and smile. And pulse one, two, three, woo, four. And again, tummy in tight so you don't fall like I just did. And one, two, three, four. Breathe.
My dog is excited. Here we go, guys. Let's get in that forearm tabletop. Woo. All right, guys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Little stop barking. Oh. And again. Oh, something really exciting must be happening. Ah, keep going, guys. Stay strong. in my videos. It's coming out of this cute little thing. I hope you guys really enjoyed that and let me know. Thumbs up if you completed this workout. You guys know the deal. If you really, really liked this, then every Saturday after I teach my class at Joffrey, I'll just record the last 15 minutes for you guys who are not able to join my class. That way you can get in a good cardio hit workout every Saturday, all right? Sending light and love to you all. I'll take care of you, and I'll see you in the next one. Lulu and I say bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm. Okay. What will you